Hey everybody, Mark Edward Lewis here with Cinema Sound. Today we're going to be doing something a little obtuse in Adobe Audition. We're going to be comparing hiss reduction with noise reduction for taking out hiss in a reasonably noisy piece of dialogue and showing you how to use both of those plugins really easily. Let's roll. We're here in Adobe Audition, and if you've never used Adobe Audition before, I suggest strongly you come to our website, cinemasound.com, and stream our product, Adobe Audition 123. Well, where you'll learn how to open the program, even if you've never done it before, and use it really powerfully and get great results in just a few hours. We're here in the timeline, the edit window, and we've got a little piece of dialogue here. Let's see what it sounds like. In a reflective dining room, which has a lot of reflection, parallel ceilings, walls. Now there's a lot of reverb and, and a noise in there, especially here at the beginning. In fact, you can hear a little chime in the background. In so how do we fix this? Well, we could apply the plugin as a non-destructive plugin, either on the clip itself or in the track, but we want to do it destructively so we can use the spectral view. We do that by taking the clip and double clicking on it, and then we get this beautiful spectral view, which is, if you've never seen it before, something that one of the things that Adobe Audition is one of the few digital audio workstations that has this. This is early to late, obviously left and right channels, low frequencies to high frequencies, and the brighter, the louder. And you can see the dialogue, the, the voice here, and all the harmonics. In a reflective dining room, which has a lot of reflection, parallel ceiling. So what we need to do is teach Adobe Audition what the noise is like, and then it's able to, depending on your plugin, get rid of it and leave the dialogue alone. Well, let's find the plugin first. We're gonna to go to Effects, Noise Reduction Restoration. We're gonna do Noise Reduction, and then the process. This is a really complicated plugin that is really easy to use. Yours probably shows up looking kind of like this uh, without the advanced mode. And what we need to do first, as I mentioned, is teach Adobe Audition what the noise is. We're going to use the time tool and I'm going to make it really, really hard for it. I'm going to give it a very short amount of noise to be able to sample. That's it. We hit capture noise print and this changes. And then we're going to hit select all um, and so that we get the whole file. When I hit this little triangle play button here, it allows me to listen and audition this uh, plugin with the plugin instantiated. And when I turn this off, then it's with it, uh, with it off. So, In a reflective dining room. Now here are these two controls, pretty much the ones that matter most. That's how much noise reduction from no noise reduction to 100%. And then how many decibels do you want to be reduced? Uh, the noise to be reduced by. As I always say, there's a coefficient between all the noise and all the artifacts. You can't have no noise and no artifacts. You're going to have no noise and all the artifacts or no artifacts and all the noise. So we want to find some clever balance between those. And these are the two sliders that allow us to do that. Noise reduction, 100% and 10 decibels is a good place to start. And one of the ways you can find if you're using too much noise reduction and getting artifacts is by using the output noise. Uh, only. And let's check it out. So if I use a massive amount of reduction and massive amount of noise uh, reduction, check it out. In a reflective dining room, how about we hit play? In a reflective dining room, which has a lot of reflection, parallel ceilings. It's actually doing a really, really good job of getting rid of the noise. Check it out. Let's see here. In a almost no noise versus turning it off. In uh, and very, very little artifacts here. Normally, what, when you run into weird chirpiness and things like this, what I like to do is click output noise only and then listen to what's happening in the denoising process. So you can hear um, the voice in there slightly. And as we bring down the reduction, it gets less and less. But we also hear less and less of the noise, which means it's not getting reduced. So if we put it up here, get a reduction of around 10, maybe 15 or so, very little of that noise is being messed with. I'm sorry, the voice is being messed with, and we know we're getting a good result. Let's see how this does. In a reflection, it's even getting rid of that bell. If we turn it off and listen once again. In a yeah, ref That's great. So that's a really, really good result. For us to actually apply it, we hit apply, conveniently enough. It goes very fast. And now you can see all the beautiful dark areas where there was once a bunch of junky noise. In a almost dead quiet here, which is amazing. So we're going to contrast that with noise reduction restoration, hiss reduction. Now we wouldn't use this 
if we had you know weird sounds and things like this but for hiss we certainly would we do the same kind of thing we do with noise reduction we select a noisy place again this is a very short place we would want a couple of seconds at least capture noise floor it comes up with this cool thing yours is probably going to look like this without the advanced tools we select all and i'm going to do the same thing here we have the noise floor which is a little bit different than just reduction and then um uh, or how much of the effect and then reduce by this basically, as the help says, adjusts the noise floor until the appropriate amount of hiss reduction and quality level is achieved. Basically, use output hiss and slide this around until you hear as little of the voice as possible and as much of the noise as possible. As I bring this up, you hear more of that. Just about here. And let's turn this off. Let's see how this does. In a reflective dining room, doesn't quite do the same thing with the bell in terms of getting rid of it, but boy, the noise. In a reflective dining room, very nice, which has a lot of reflection, parallel ceilings, walls, floors, and some mod there might be a little more artifacture in the in the reverb. If you listen to the reverb tail, you hear a little chirpiness. In a reflective dining room, which has a lot of reflection, parallel ceilings, walls, floors, and... Just there a little bit because it's very difficult for a hiss-only algorithm to be able to get rid of hiss and things in a decaying reverb. So if you had a room that had a lot of reverb in it, you probably would want to use the straight uh, hiss reduction, oh sorry, the, the noise reducer, but if you had just straight hiss, and didn't have a reverby kind of signal and it was somewhat dry, this is an excellent and very easy plugin to use to get rid of hiss in your recordings. If you found this video to be helpful at all or any of the hundreds of other videos that we have here on the Cinema Sound channel, please subscribe. And also come visit us at cinemasound.com where hopefully one of the hundreds of blog posts that we have there or educational bits can help you get that Hollywood level production value you've been looking for. Until then, we'll see you in post. Even if you're